Hey again, everybody. How we doing out there? Um, it is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. So today I'm taking a break from the Duesenberg Model A build. And I am going to do a sign for a friend of mine for his shop. And uh, he doesn't have a repair shop. He has, he's a hobbyist like me. But I just want to give him, make him a, a kind of a crazy sign that uh, for Ed's auto body or auto repair. And then I wrote on the bottom, if you're not happy, you'll get your dent. We'll give your dent back and have a little ball peen hammer there. So just something fun, funny for a shop. Uh, my foot is a little sore today. I've been on the concrete working on my old car and uh, just doesn't take the damage anymore. I used to back when we were kids and uh, now that I'm in my 60s, uh, nothing's the same, man. So you'll see when you get there. But anyway, it's all good. Um, as I've said before, I'm retired. I was a, a builder, contractor for uh, 40 years and I had my own business for 37 years and I uh, don't miss it, but it was a good run. We did well. So, as you, I showed you that I, I drew this all out by hand, and of course I've got a drafting table here. So, I do uh, I did draw my old blueprints and addition plans when I was in business. So I draw them right here at this table. This is on the second floor of the barn, and this is also my art studio. I oil paint and do you know basically anything man i have a huge interest in doing pretty much anything i see i'm like i want to try that you know so it's a kind of a good thing but <laughs> it's also um it's endless i mean it's just something that uh you know when i was younger friends of mine would have children and they'd say i think my kid's an artist what should i do and i go nothing i said if your kid's an artist they will be begging you for you know, crayons, pencils, paint, paper, and um, if you're truly an artist, it's just in your blood, man. You will have to be doing something all the time, and, and that's the way I'm, I'm, I'm possessed. I just have to be creating and making something. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's something I've never tried before, even better. It's just I you know, want to dig in and, and give it a shot. So what I'm doing here is here's the sign, and I've got in my hand, this is called a... Uh, I don't know what it's called. It's it's a little thing. Uh, people who do use patterns, women who uh, with making uh, dresses and stuff, they have their um, their patterns and they you know use this to make holes in the paper. Um, in sign work, they use do the same thing. They use this to make holes in the paper, and I'll show you up close. It is has a bunch of little pins on it. It almost looks like a spur, right? But this, the pins go through the paper. I got a piece of cardboard underneath. And then I'll take a sock that I have um, baby powder in. And we'll just tap it on top of the paper. And it'll transfer my, to the, you know, the sign. And we're good to go. So that is that. So what I'm going to do now is start marking all these uh, letters out. And we'll go from there. First thing I do is just take and my ruler and that'll give me my straight line which will give me a guide to go by when I am doing this on the metal this will lay out that whole line will show and that'll give my my point of uh, you know no return as I got to stop there that's the line to give me my upper and lower no work area so very easy you're not looking to really detail out every detail this is just going to give you a really good idea where they are and then you make up for it with the brush so as I said in my last video this is my that was my first sign. And this is my second sign. Um, but I'm no stranger to 
you know, artwork and brushwork. Done a lot of oil painting over the years. So, you know, if you're going to do sign work, there's definitely a learning curve, obviously. You've got to, first of all, try it. You've got to buy brushes and all that. And um, so, yeah, you got to put a little cash out to start. But, you know, don't buy the best of the best. Just, just try it. You know, I can't say that enough. It's like, if you see something you want to do, go for it. Best thing you can do is, you know, start. If you make mistakes, hell, if everyone makes mistakes, that's how you learn. You're like, oh, shoot, I screwed that sign up. But why? Well, because my didn't hold this, didn't do that, didn't hold the sign right, didn't hold my brush right. And uh, really simple. So I've already got the auto done on doing the repair. And again, it doesn't have to be exactly on the lines. You're just trying to get this, mainly getting my spacing right. Once I start the brushwork, I'll figure it out as I go. Learn while you learn. Like I said, it's important to have a piece of cardboard under it because the the pins have to go somewhere. If you had it on your table, you'd probably <laughs> you'd ruin your table. So a piece of cardboard pops through nice and easy, rolls easy, really uh, pretty basic. So the point of these videos is to try to get you to try something new. Maybe this Ed's. I did a video of Ed the other day in his shop and he's working on a, I think it was a 1964 Buick 225, something like that. I forget off the top of my head, but I believe that was it. And we're going to make another visit to him when I have this sign done. And we'll surprise him with it. And we'll get another look at his car, see what he's doing. Now for all those for small letters, I'm not gonna do those. I'm just gonna do those by eye when I do when I do it. I'll do it with a liner brush and and again hope for the best outcome I can get out of it. So, how long did that take? A few minutes? So if you hold this up to the light, I'm hoping that you can see all the holes in the back there, right? I believe you can. So now we're going to take the sign. Get 
the center down here. Couple pieces of tape. So quick measurement, inch and a half. Inch and five eighths. Move it down here. My light moved. All right. So now we'll take. This is just two socks, one inside the other, and it has talcum powder in it baby powder, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to blot that on there. All right. So take that here. see that that gave me my outlines for everything we're doing here and again not perfect but it's giving me my spacing from my all of my original artwork and now what we'll do is we'll take and turn around the easel and we will do some painting Bear with me for a minute while I get my brushes together. So, figure out camera layout. Looks pretty good. Okay. I'm still with you here. Got that glare on from that window. I'm trying not to do that, so. Another light here, might work. Yeah, that's a little better. All right, here we go. So I'm using uh, the one-shot paints.
So I'm going to tell you, I want to thank everybody for coming to my channel and watching. Um, this channel is brand new. I'm only, uh, I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks. So again, bear with me on all of it, please. And I had a little experience yesterday. I put a video on of it snowing out and they came up copyright. I forget exactly what it said, but it said copyright infringement or something. And I had some Neil Young playing on there. And I didn't understand because again, I'm new. I did not understand about the whole, I should, that, you know, you play music, someone's got to get paid, right? So I looked up an, a video on that subject and they just said that unless you get a letter in the mail saying, take it down, you're not really, you know, you're not, you're not busting the law here too crazy. So I just learned a lesson. I won't put music on. I love music. I actually played music in a band for years, loved every minute of it. And, uh, and I think, you know, hopefully Neil Young is, uh, the hippie type. So I'm thinking he's pretty loose and not going to get too upset, but I love his music. So I, I, uh, it was playing in the background on the radio. It wasn't, I didn't really set it up for that. And I just kind of let it play. So, there you have it. So I got my first, my first warning from YouTube. Don't have too much fun, I think they said. Um... I had some mineral spirits here. I guess I don't. Okay, I'm gonna burn it. So I should try to thin this down a little bit, but I don't have any mineral spirits here, and I want to break away. So I don't know how well you can see it, but you can see that my dotted lines are on there and all it's basically doing is giving me a parameter and an outline of what I'm doing here. And these sign brushes you buy, they're long. I mean, look at, there's a lot of, a lot of flippity flop going on there. So I still say maybe I've got to cut these down a hair or something. Again, I'm not a sign guy. I'm just messing around with it. Maybe I'm not using the right brush. But come out so far, so good. So let's go. Keep on keeping on.
I've got a funny story. We, uh, a friend of mine who has since passed away, he was a dear friend, known each other since we were literally babies, and the wife's and my, uh, the, us two, you know, the, the two couples, we went to Key West a couple times together. And uh, when we're down there, we're like, hey, you know what? While we're here, let's get tattoos. Now, we both have tattoos. So we're like, we're just kind of going to add to it, you know? So we go down Duval Street there. And, of course, we stop at a couple different bars and have a couple of beers. And... We go into a bunch of different tattoo shops, and we wind up choosing one that uh, this young girl works at, lovely girl, her work. You know, when, if you're going to get a tattoo, go and look at their work. They all have books. You know, it's like a photo album, and that's exactly what it is. But the photo album shows all their work, you know. So look and look for the fine line, and you don't want somebody who's going to lay down heavy, heavy lines with lots of ink because that ink spreads out over time, believe it or not. Your skin uh, kind of bleeds bleeds through. So needless to say, long story short, we picked this spot and this girl and we, um, you know, we choose Thursday because we don't want to have fresh tattoo. We're there for a week. We don't want you want to have fresh tattoo because you can't go in the ocean, you can't go in the pools, and you know it's got to be covered up. So we're like, we'll come in Thursday because we're leaving Friday, and we will do our thing. So we go back, and I'm first on the block. So I sit down, and uh, you know I'm like, hey, how's your day going? You know what's happening? And she's very lovely. She says, well, this morning, I just signed my divorce papers. And I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, you just signed your divorce papers? I'm like, are you all right? <laughs> I mean, are we good here or what? Because I'm like, oh, you know, I've, you obviously want her completely focused. And uh, she says, no. She says, your tattoo actually is an inspiration for me because I'm moving forward. And I'm like, all right. So, long story short, I sit down, and it goes off perfectly. She does a wonderful job, you know, and then she does takes care of my friend, and uh, it was a great experience. But, it, you know, it was just too funny that uh, she's like, yeah, just signed my divorce papers this morning, and I'm going to tattoo you now. And I'm like, holy crap, this could go bad. But uh, it really didn't. It was wonderful. She was lovely, you know, had a great trip. So, that's my tattoo story from Key West. There's a lot more stories from Key West, but I'm not going to tell you. We had a lot of fun. Now I thinned this stuff out. I obviously thinned it a little too much. So don't be thinning too much, you know what I'm saying? That is a good looking O.
So as I'm doing this, I'm trying to learn how this brush moves because again, this is a sign painter's brush. Uh, this is Quinn and Mac, made in Germany, number six brush. Look at that tea dripping, god darn it. I mixed that paint too thin. So what's happening right here is I'm learning. It's like I told you, the only way to do it is learn. And you screw up, whatever. That's what it is. All you do is use your magic eraser right there. All right, moving on. Gotta move my palette to the other side. So on my other video of making the other sign for my friend tattoo sideshow or sideshow <laughs> sideshow tattoo, he um, he stumbled across it on eBay or not on eBay on uh, Instagram. What the hell am I saying, people? On YouTube, and I get a text from him yesterday. Hey, thank you very much. You saw for the sign. What a surprise! I'm like. Well, so much for the surprise, but uh, I guess you got to expect that if you're putting this stuff online, someone's going to see it. Everyone's going to see it, right? What the hell are you going to do? Now you see the stick in my hand, right? called a mall stick and they've been using these forever it's uh and it's not it's not a way of cheating it's just you know you can't get your hand to do certain stuff and my hand's not that steady I used to watch the old movies. I still watch old movies. But I remember seeing guys in those old black and white movies, and it'd be like a comedy or something, and it'd be an old guy with a white outfit and a white hat on, and it'd be outside painting the, the name of the new guy in the office on the on the uh, the glass door, you know? And somehow, like the Three Stooges, the... They'd open the door and the glass would break or something. The guy'd be doing the sign like five times, but I like, I always thought, how cool is that? That these guys, that was their job to paint signs. That's all they did all day, paint signs, you know? So, you know, I don't do this every day, but I want to do more of it because I think it's fun stuff and especially, you know, Surprising your friend with a, a sign for his um, man cave or his little garage shop. 
Plus, for a busy body like me, it gives me something to do when I my feet are sore. I can sit down and do on this thing. And it uh, gives me a lot of personal satisfaction. Then, uh, you know, we'll let this dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'll do all the outlining. Supposed to get snow here tomorrow. Say in three inches or so. Just enough to be a pain in the butt. So back to this stick. This stick is called a mall stick. I think it's M O. HL and they've been using these forever. I mean way back to you know Leonardo da Vinci and all the great painters of the day back then, the Renaissance area and all that stuff. And uh I mean it makes total sense, right? I mean otherwise you'd be getting your hand in the paint. And I've had this one, I've been oil painting for Ever since I was in high school, and I've had this, and that's a piece of one of my old flannel shirts from way back when. That's what they call the thumb eraser. My paint is drying up. So that's that. So that's uh, the auto repair lettering part of it. Cleaning out my brush here now. I think I'll do a little of the the lettering below while you're watching. So
Zizel I've had for a long time and I wound up painting it black um, because I was advised to by another painter I know and he was right because every time and I painted the wall behind me I don't know if you can see that behind you but the walls I painted flat black because I have a painting all this is throwing color back at me of uh, you know and, and giving me a false reading of the colors that I was actually trying to put on my canvases so it's pretty interesting when you think about it all right I've got to move my easel back here okay I'm not gonna this paint's pretty thin so I'm not gonna thin it out Let's see what we how we can do here so O's are a pain in the butt, but again, with time, it'll happen. If you're not, if you're not what?
If you're not happy, wheel Bitch. There's air behind that picture. I have it up there as a painting that I'm going to start. And I had that freaking picture up there for way too long. Wheel. Give. Wasn't happy with that. Give.
your this again. Now I didn't, I could have taken a wax pencil and written this on here to get my line. So I didn't, and now I'm kind of getting tight down here to where I wanted to be. So that was kind of a mistake on my part. All right, so I think that's going to be it for today, but I've got to put an S up here, Ed's Auto Repair. If you're not happy, we'll give you money back. So thank you very much, everybody. Please like and subscribe to my videos, and we'll have some more fun. That's all. Just having fun here, man. And... uh as we sign off, I'll give you a little better shot of that. I think that's pretty good for a beginner. And this is my studio. This is the fun space here where the fun never ends. All right, please like and subscribe. Everybody have a wonderful Wonderful day. Uh, love you all. Peace and happiness. And be kind to everybody, man. Life's too short.